Welcome back. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on adding a new new product. And to do this, we need to convert. Remember, we have this add product.html. We need to convert it into PHP. I'm going to rename this. And then I'm going to say add product.php. And then now in this product, uh, in this add product.php, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to test this page. So I'm going to go to add product.php. And now we have this, this uh, form. Now we need to work on this form so that we will be able to insert new products into the system. So as you can see, we have here title, we have description, price, quantity, and uh, shoes, and um, this is actually the, uh, the category, and then we have the image. So let's work on this form. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that here in the add product.php, we have this form, and we need to activate this form. So to activate this form, we need to give it two things. Actually, we need to give it three things. We need to give it first method, and the method is going to be post, and then we need to also give it ink type, multi-part form data because we have an image. We have an image that we want to upload. And lastly, we need to specify the, the URL that's going to be responsible for uploading the image. So I'm going to say here action, and the action is going to be equal to create underscore product dot php and uh, now we need to know the the names of these uh, fields the title is the the title is uh, has a name of title description description price price quantity and then the select we need to give it a name here the select the name is is equal to your category category and then we have the image the image the image is image and lastly the the button is the button name is add product button add a hyphen add hyphen product hyphen button uh, now uh, let's get the the create create product.php so I'm going to create a new file here I'm going to create a new file called create underscore product dot php and then in this create product dot php the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to include the connection because this is going to use obviously the connection so I'm going to say here include include what include connection connection.php and then we want to check whether the button has been clicked or not here the button has a name of add under uh, let's say underscore here add underscore product underscore button and the ID also add underscore product underscore button so we need to check whether this button has been clicked or not and that can be done using if statement I'm gonna say here if if is set if if is set post because this is a post request we are working now with a post request post remember remember here we are working with a post request so here I'm gonna say post and then the name of the button the name of the button is add underscore product underscore button so if is set post add underscore product underscore button what we want to do is that we want we want here to upload we want here to cre create the product else else we need to return with an with uh, with an error message or or return to a, new, a specific page so here in case let's work on this part in case we in case the user clicks on this button we need to get data from these fields so to do this we have to create variables that will store the the these values so the first value that we have is the product title I'm gonna say uh, title title is equal to product uh, post uh, post title because the name remember the name was I believe the name was uh, title so title and then description and then price so let me create these so we have here the title and then description is equal to post 
and then description post description and then and then price 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 is equal to post price and then we have the quantity we have the quantity and the category and then here we have the quantity quantity is equal to post quantity quantity and then we have the category category is equal to post category and the image is a special case the image in order to get the image we need to use here file we need to say here image image is equal to file files actually files files and then the name of the image so the name of the image is image remember the name of the image let me remind you one more time the name of the image here this image the name of the input which stores the image is has a name image so here uh, files image and then we get the image in order to get the, the file in order to get the image we need to say here temp tmp underscore name this is gonna get us the the image itself this is going to get us the file so this is the image but we also need to get the name of the image and next we need to work on the image name so the image name you determine the image name so to, to determine the image name I'm going to say image underscore name is equal to let's name the image the same as the title uh, so the, the title the product title is usually going to be unique because the, there there will be no uh, uh, products that have the same exact title there must be something different they aren't gonna be always the same it's it's very difficult to have products that 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 have the same exact name therefore the product name is gonna be perfect to to use it for the image name and then you need to append the the extension so the extension that I'm gonna always be using is jpeg and don't forget here to say dot jpeg and then semicolon so you need to, do, to know the difference between the image and the image name. The image is the file itself. This is the image file. Whereas this, this is the name of the image. There is a big difference. This is the name of the image. Image name. And uh, after that, we need to upload the image. To, to, so to upload the image, to upload the image, we need to use a function called move, move uploaded file. And to, to, to upload it, we need to pass the image itself. So the image is image. And then the second parameter, this is the first parameter. The second parameter is the directory where we want to store the image. So the, the directory, remember, the directory is this, is assets images. So I'm going to say here, comma, and then I'm going to say double quotes, and then assets, assets, for slash, for slash and then here I need to say for slash and then um, images and then for slash and then the name of the image so the name of the image is image name and uh, that's it now this is for the image after that we need to create the product and uh, to create the product we need to use uh, the SQL so for the SQL we need to say statement statement stmt is equal to con con prepare prepare and now since we are inserting we need to say insert and what we want to insert is that we want to insert into product and then the things that we want to insert are the title and then comma and then uh, description description and then the price and then the quantity and then the category and then the image name the image and uh, let's double check this we have the name uh, actually the name not title so here we need to say name not title 
name so it's name the category description image price uh, quantity here name description price quantity category uh, image so again double check this because you wouldn't want to to make a mistake here and then after that we need to say values here values values so what are the values the values are after this the values are question marks here we need to say question marks one two three four five I think six we have one two three four one two three four five six we have six one two three four five six because we have here name one two three four five six and uh, lastly we need to say here uh, we need to close this and we need to say semicolon and make sure that this is correct values and uh, we are good to go here insert into here into into insert into product insert make sure that the spelling is correct insert into product and then these and then values and we are here good to go next we want to execute this query but before we execute this query we need to append the data we need to append the fields and to do this we have to use a function called bind param so I'm gonna say here statement and then bind bind param and then we need to bind what we need to bind the uh, a string 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 and then um, integer and then string and then string so we need to say s s s i s s and then comma and then we need to pass these respectively we need to say name first and then the second one was description description uh, by the way here it, it was title not name so here I'm gonna say title so in in the in the PHP code it's title but in the database in the database here it's name so in the SQL it must be name but in the PHP it must be title and then comma and then uh, price price and then comma comma and then uh, quantity and then comma and then after the quantity we have the category and then image category and then image image name comma and then image name image name and uh, last the last thing that, that we need to do is that we need to execute this I'm gonna say if and then I'm gonna execute this and make sure that it was executed and I'm gonna say statement and then execute and that and if that execution was successful then I'm gonna say header and then I'm gonna take the user to I'm gonna take the user to the to the page to the same page I'm gonna say location uh, colon and then the page was uh, the products page is products products dot php and I'm gonna display a success message I'm gonna say here success message is equal to and then I'm gonna say product product was created or insert inserted let's say uh, created successfully created successfully and else else we need to display an error so else I'm gonna say here else else we have to say we need to copy the same exact code and, the, and then we need to paste it here and then we need to say error message so here I'm gonna say error error message so for the error message I'm gonna say a product uh, was not created I'm gonna say error error and then comma and then product was not created and in case in case the user did not click on the button I'm gonna say here I'm gonna say header and then I'm gonna say location products that PHP and then um, uh, error message error message and then I'm gonna say error error try again 
here and then try again and we are good to go let me now click on file and then save all and let's test this so let me here in the browser let me refresh and let's test this So here I'm going to insert a new product. I'm going to say, let's say here, uh, uh, shoes, for example. Or let me say something else. I'm going to say uh, green shoes because we already have so many uh, uh, product names that go by uh, green shoe, uh, shoes. Description, I'm going to say green shoes. Product, I'm going to say uh, price, I'm going to say 155. Quantity, 9. Uh, the category is shoes. The image, let me select an image. So I'm going to select this image and then I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to click on add product. And here, if I click on add product, I have an error. It says can't use set in, uh, on the result of an expression. So we have an error in line 6 in create product. So the reason for this is because I have here a syntax error. I should say post, and then here it should be uh, square brackets, not circular. Here, square brackets, not normal uh, brackets. Square brackets. So here, uh, rectangular uh, brackets. So let me now try one more time. I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to click on add product. And here, as you can see, it will here. Uh, it should uh, it should be added so let me here go to the next page and uh, next page and as you can see we have the we have the new product added here green shoes but the image has not been added so let me check the image the image I think we have a problem with the image it should be added here so we don't have the image so we have a problem with the image and I think the problem is with the here with the bracket I think I have added an extra bracket. It should be just assets, images, assets, assets, images, and then image name. And if you cannot find the image here, then you need to say here, uh, we have here an error. We need to say image name, title, dot, I forgot here to say dot, not, because here you, we are using PHP, not JavaScript. We need to say dot, not, plus, dot, which is the concatenation sign, and then let me click on file and then save all and let's try one more time so I'm gonna go back to the to the uh, upload here and then I'm gonna select an image let me select another image let me select for example this one and then let me click on add product and let me go to the last page and uh, it should be here in the in the in the, sys, in, the in the assets image as you can see this is the this is the new uh, uh, file which has been uploaded. So this is this this is how it works. And also here in the database, it will be displayed in the in the last field. It will be here, as you can see, bl uh, blue shoes .jpg. And if you go to the last, if you go to the last uh, to the last record, you will find that this is the blue shoes. Of course, not blue, but this is the image that I have uploaded.